Hey, time to check out some great homes for sale with uh, Dan Hamilton. Dan has brought with him Amanda McCall, and uh, you guys, welcome to the couch. Thank you very Great. much for having think us. Can we bring you some milk or pillows? Let <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> me get you two cups. <laughs> Not too yeah, comfortable. Exactly. Exactly. We, we got work to do. <laughs> yes. Well, you got houses to show us, and we're going to be talking about credit scores. Just jump right in there. That's <laughs> right. Well, I thought I'd bring Amanda on today. She's with Prime Lending, and she really helps a lot of our clients get there. The biggest part of the puzzle for a lot of people, and that's the loan for the house. Right. And so there's a few key things that I think really people need to understand right now what's happening with credit scores and, and the best credit scores to get the best rates. What is like the perfect credit score? Wow. Is there so, a perfect there credit There is, oh, yes. Yeah. Well, according to the federal government, there definitely is. So I'll kind of start with a little bit about what's really been happening in the industry over the last couple of weeks. So two weeks ago, the federal government made some pretty significant changes in the mortgage industry in how credit scores are evaluated. And as that information has gotten down to the public, what I'm starting to hear on the streets is that clients are believing that clients with better credit are going to be getting a worse rate and clients with bad credit are going to be getting a better rate. But that's actually not what happened at all. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, right. um, so if you were quoted an interest rate of 5%, prior to this change that came effective May the 1st, you are still gonna be quoted at the same rate of 5% today. The difference is the cost for that rate has changed. The Federal Housing Finance Authority changed the way that the cost of rates are determined. Those are called LLPAs, or Loan Pricing Rate yeah. Adjusters, okay? So those have always been around, they've always existed. What changed though with the policy is that those fees changed and worsened for some buyers and improved for other buyers. So for an example, if you have excellent credit and you wanna purchase a home today and you're putting 20% down, the fee for your rate has worsened. Oh. Biggest thing though is that the rate that you're getting is still much better than a client that has bad credit. Okay. Okay. So biggest takeaway is mortgage rates did not worsen. The fees associated with the rates right. have changed. Okay. So, so that so, gets tricky because it's a lot of because you it, just hear yeah. like keywords on the news. It's or whatever. so tricky. It's yeah. so confusing, and and it's it's confusing for mortgage lenders as well as to why was this change really? How, why did it happen? And and yes, customers now. So what's excellent credit mean? Because it's different today than it was just two weeks ago. Oh wow! Okay. So the top tier for credit is going to be about a 780. Is okay. going to be excellent I mean, credit really now. Good, that is excellent. Okay. Yes. So yes. if you if someone comes with you and their first thing is like you know I, I want this house. I I think my credit's pretty good. You 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 look there and you're like, okay, you're seven eight. Yes, you're golden. Yep. You'll have no you're trouble good. getting a loan. What if it's like not so good? Yeah. So there are ways that we can improve credit, and I'll kind of give you three major things to focus on when you're looking at trying to kind of step up to that next credit tier or getting into a position where you can buy a home. So the three biggest things are number one, no late payments. Okay. So make sure that you're setting yourself up maybe on a direct draft to where those payments are automatically coming out every month to stop any lates. The second thing is you really want to use credit. That's how you build credit scores. That's what they told us in college. <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. Make sure you can pay it off right away, right. but you gotta start yeah. building it up. A hundred percent. So rule of thumb, you want to have open and active three credit cards. You want to use them every single month. Are you serious? <laughs> you want to pay them off when the bill comes due every month. So yeah. the way I educate clients is don't go out and spend money you weren't already spending. Use one credit card for groceries, one credit card for gas, one credit card maybe for a night dinner, a night out at dinner. Yeah, that's yeah, but you're smart. You're creating more temptations. That can get it, out of control. It please. can. But the keyword is you know you're going to pay this. You have the yeah. money yeah. for it. You have the money for it. It's money you're already spending in yeah. your in your monthly budget. When the bill comes due, you pay it off and you repeat that process the next month. That's what builds credit. Yeah. Another misconception is clients actually close credit cards that they haven't used in years. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a bad thing that can sometimes hurt your credit as really? well. I didn't know so that. just leave them alone and not mess with them. And that's really how you build that depth of credit. Is this still true if you call, and I did this 20 years ago, call to check your credit, that it, it hurts your credit score? If you call in to find out what the heck your credit score is, you probably go online now, but this was 20 you, years ago. You can, you can go online and they actually allow you to pull your credit report one time a year for free and that should have no negative impact but to your score. After that, it'll hurt you. That makes no sense. It, I agree, it makes zero sense at all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome, I'm, I'm happy to help. <laughs> but these are great. She doesn't make the rules. She just, yes, she just yeah. you know, helps you understand them. That's why we love, you know, Dan having you on the, on the show because you have a, a whole team that you can work with to really help mm -hmm. right. to yeah. do everything. How about we take a look at a couple houses. Absolutely. We got some great listings. Yes. All right. Let's start with
with 12 Odell Street. This one is in Greenville. Dan, yeah. this is a biggie. This, okay. this is a one of a kind in Hartness, which is an oh, awesome neighborhood yeah. uh, on the east side of Greenville. Wonderful amenities. This is a super, super unique house. Very modern, very sleek design, both inside and out. So just good. under 2 million, about 4,600 square feet. Also has a, a separate apartment attached to it at the lower level as well. Oh, so that's cool. I mean, very yeah. awesome house. You're Twelve in that Odell. Heartness community. I mean, that's just. That's I love so that fine. neighborhood. It's well, fantastic. It's not yeah. far from probably from Rolling Green Circle. It, it you know, is kind of right down the road. Mm -hmm. if, if you were to just get on Pelham Road and go up to uh, right near Black's Road, uh, this is a great home on one acre. Rolling Green Circle is a really, really nice, very heavily wooded street, and uh, this home was custom built in about 2000. Very well taken care of. Uh, 825, it's got a full basement, a lot of house for the money right there. Look at the outside, the I love the little picnic shelter. Oh, yeah. so great. All right, last but not least, let's go to 418 <clears throat> Bernie Street. This is also in Greenville. Yeah, Hill. coming downtown right. I mean, Unity Park is in your backyard oh, at this house. Gosh, so you've got all those amenities. I love the bathroom, love the finishes. Uh, very uh, small, so it's only two bedroom, two bath. But the finishes are great, so great for that first time home buyer who wants to get in downtown yeah. under $400,000. Look at those bathroom bands, they spared it's amazing. no expense I know. Look at that. for that. Dan, thank you, and uh, to, to you, thanks for you. I mean, yeah, great to you. Maybe semi explained it. I still <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Don't well, worry. if you have questions, reach out. We'll, uh, right. Amanda will help you for sure. And who are you with again? Let's I'm with Prime Lending. Very good. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amanda Absolutely. McCall, Dan Hamilton. Yeah. We appreciate it. And of course, for any of those homes that you can saw, you can go to mygreenvillehome.com.